Hi guys, um, I've previously just launched a video about how to control the Hover Air X1 manually using the uh, virtual control joystick on the mobile phone, but I've also wondered, is it actually possible to use the Hover Air internally rather than just externally? Now, it's not the easiest you know, drone to actually control even with a virtual joystick, but I thought I'm gonna give it a go and see what sort of results we get. Um, so my house is actually pretty small, it's not the very very big at all. So the rooms are probably just a few metres squared. So it doesn't give you very much um, space to manoeuvre the drone, but you know, why not? Give yourself a bit of a challenge, I thought. Now if you can fly the drone internally, then I think it'd be very interesting for people who do things like real estate um, in a much bigger properties property to give a lot more space. All right, let's uh, give it a go and see what happens. Now, just before we start off, I should mention um, that um, I'm actually using the little official controller. I'm not sure it's the official controller, but it's a controller for the Hover Air X1. Um, I'm going to do a proper little video based on this. Now, um, I'm using this because it's a little bit easier than the mobile phone, but unfortunately I noticed on AliExpress, where I got this from, um, it's no longer available. Um, so maybe it's just out of stock or something, or maybe it's just continued. I'm not quite, quite sure why. So I guess I'm quite lucky I've got hold of this. Now, it certainly makes the thing uh, a lot easier to control, um, although it's still quite difficult in small spaces. Anyway, let's uh, crack on and see how well it performs internally. Now one thing I immediately notice is that um, this drone has only got one speed, um, probably deliberately. So it's actually very difficult, I think, or quite tricky to manoeuvre it in small spaces internally. Um, so we've got a little bit of a challenge there. Now hopefully um, in a future firmware, if the hover guys are listening, it'd be really nice if you had a button or something, you could actually change the speed um, of the drone to so maybe really slow or fast or something like that. Um, if you had an option to change it really slow, then of course it's going to open up a whole load of opportunities to do things like real estate videos and interior shots like that. So that could be quite exciting, so you know, fingers crossed on something like that. But even as its current state, um, I would say that it's, it is actually um, possible to use it um, if you've got a little bit of a practice with remote control, um, as can be seen in my example footage coming right up. So with my little bit of experimental footage, I hope you can see guys that it's actually possible uh, to fly this thing indoors. Um, it's not easy, but it's actually possible. So, you know, I hope that's made you excited as much as I have the potentials of this little guy here. Um, all right, so I hope you find that video useful guys, and take care, and I shall see you soon on another video.